The world stood still on August 16, 1977. News broke that Elvis Presley, the undisputed king of rock and roll, had died. He was only 42 years old. The news spread like wildfire, leaving fans heartbroken and in disbelief. Radio stations played Elvis's music nonstop, paying tribute to the fallen star. Television screens were filled with images of the singer throughout his career, from his early days on Sun Records to his dazzling Las Vegas performances. The world mourned the loss of an icon, a talent that had touched countless lives. The king was dead, but his music, his spirit, his legend, they would continue to live on. On August 15, 1977, Elvis Presley went about his day at Graceland, his Memphis mansion. He was preparing for another tour, set to begin in just a few days. Yet behind the scenes, the king was not well. He had been battling health problems for years, and his dependence on prescription drugs had become a serious concern. Despite his declining health, Elvis continued to work tirelessly. That evening, Elvis spent time with his fiancée, Ginger Alden, and friends. He played racquetball on his private court, always a favorite pastime. Later, he sat at his piano, playing and singing gospel songs, his voice echoing through the halls of Graceland. Around 5 a.m., Elvis retired to his bedroom. Elvis Presley, the man who had revolutionized music and captured the hearts of millions, was about to leave the building for the very last time. The world held its breath as news of Elvis's collapse spread. It was Ginger Alden who made the devastating discovery. Finding Elvis unresponsive in the bathroom of his Graceland suite, she immediately called for help. Elvis's longtime friend and aide, Al Strada, rushed to the scene, followed by members of Elvis's entourage. Panic surged through Graceland as desperate attempts were made to revive the king. CPR was administered and someone called for an ambulance. Elvis was rushed to Baptist Memorial Hospital in Memphis, his lifeless body accompanied by a distraught Ginger Alden and a convoy of cars carrying those closest to him. At the hospital, a team of medical professionals was on standby, ready to do everything in their power to save the king of rock and roll. The world waited with bated breath, hoping for a miracle, praying for good news, but it was not to be. At 3.30 p.m., Elvis Aaron Presley was pronounced dead. The official cause, as determined by the autopsy, was cardiac arrhythmia, a heart attack. However, the autopsy also revealed a toxic cocktail of prescription drugs in Elvis's system, a discovery that sent shockwaves through his fan base and beyond. The revelation of Elvis's reliance on prescription medications cast a dark cloud over his passing. The autopsy report listed numerous prescription medications, including painkillers, sedatives, and amphetamines. It was a potent and dangerous combination, one that ultimately contributed to his untimely demise. Elvis's death served as a tragic cautionary tale, highlighting the devastating consequences of prescription drug abuse. Section 5 Ailing Icon Elvis's declining health in his final years. Elvis's final years were marked by a decline in his health. The once energetic performer known for his dynamic stage presence was noticeably heavier and often appeared unwell. His demanding tour schedule, the pressures of fame, and his reliance on prescription drugs had taken a toll. Those close to Elvis witnessed his struggles. They saw the fatigue, the mood swings, and the increasing dependence on medication to cope with the demands of his career and the turmoil in his personal life. Despite his health issues, Elvis remained committed to his fans. He continued to tour and perform, even as his body struggled to keep up. His voice, though still powerful, showed signs of strain. His final performances were a testament to his dedication to his fans, but also a stark reminder of the toll his lifestyle had taken. Section 6. The World Mourns. A Global Outpouring of Grief. The world went into mourning as news of Elvis's death spread. Fans were in disbelief, their grief palpable. Spontaneous memorials sprang up around the world, from Memphis to London to Tokyo. Thousands of fans descended upon Memphis, gathering outside the gates of Graceland to pay their respects. The outpouring of grief was overwhelming, a testament to the profound impact Elvis had on people's lives. They laid flowers, candles, and handwritten notes at the gates of his beloved home, sharing stories and memories of the man who had touched their hearts. Elvis's funeral was a major event, broadcast live on television around the world. The world mourned the loss of an icon, a symbol of rock and roll, a cultural phenomenon. 
Section 7. Unveiling the truth dispelling the myths surrounding Elvis's death. The sudden and shocking nature of Elvis's death, coupled with his celebrity status, led to a whirlwind of speculation and conspiracy theories. Some refused to believe that the king was truly gone. Rumors circulated that he had faked his death to escape the pressures of fame, or that he was living in seclusion. The most persistent theory claimed that Elvis was still alive, hiding from the public eye. These theories, while lacking any credible evidence, provided a sense of comfort to some fans who couldn't accept the loss of their idol. However, the truth is far less sensational. Elvis Presley did die on August 16, 1977 in his Graceland mansion. The King's death, while tragic, was not a conspiracy. Section 8. Elvis's Enduring Legacy, a Cultural Icon Beyond Compare Elvis Presley's legacy extends far beyond his music. He was a cultural phenomenon, a symbol of rebellion, sexuality, and youthful exuberance. He challenged social norms, broke down racial barriers in music, and became a global icon. Elvis's impact on music is undeniable. He popularized rock and roll, fusing country, blues, and gospel into a sound that was both familiar and revolutionary. His music transcended generations, appealing to teenagers and adults alike. His influence can be heard in countless artists who followed in his footsteps, from the Beatles to Bruce Springsteen to Justin Timberlake. Elvis was more than just an entertainer, he was a cultural force, a symbol of change. Section 9. The King Lives On Elvis's Influence on Music and Beyond More than four decades after his death, Elvis Presley's influence remains as strong as ever. His music continues to resonate with audiences worldwide. Graceland, his Memphis mansion, is one of the most visited tourist attractions in the United States, a testament to his enduring popularity. Elvis impersonators can be found in every corner of the globe, keeping his memory alive with their renditions of his classic hits. His image adorns countless pieces of merchandise from t-shirts to coffee mugs, a testament to his enduring commercial appeal. Elvis's music continues to inspire new generations of musicians. The king may be gone, but his music, his spirit, his legend, they continue to live on, ensuring that Elvis Presley will never truly leave the building.